Good evening, everybody. My name is Haisam Amin. I go by Sam. I'm an attorney here in San Francisco. Uh, I'd like to thank you for spending a few minutes with me today as we discuss um, the um, crime of vandalism. It's codified in the California Penal Code under Section 594. And um, I have received literally tons of questions from folks that have either been arrested or have family uh, members that have been arrested for allegedly committing vandalism uh, during the protests. Um, and before I dive into what the district attorney's office would need to prove in order to convict somebody of vandalism, uh, I would like to make sure that if you haven't already to please subscribe. Uh, of course, uh, like, comment and share. Um, uh, follow me on uh, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, and if you have any other questions, please feel free to send me a private message either on Facebook, Instagram or um, uh, on, on my YouTube. And uh, back to um, what the district attorney's office would have to prove beyond reasonable doubt uh, if the case progresses to trial uh, in order to conv convict somebody of uh, the crime of vandalism. Uh, first element, element number one, the district attorney's office would have to prove that the defendant maliciously defaced, such as uh, sprayed graffiti, um, or uh, damaged or destroyed a property. The property could be either uh, real property or personal property. Uh, real property such as a structure, business, a house. Personal property as a such as a vehicle or a bicycle or a motorcycle, etc. And num element number two, the district attorney's office would have to prove that you did not own this property um, either by yourself or with someone else. And element number three, the district attorney's office would have to prove in order to convict you of a felony, would have to prove that the damage caused was more than $400. And it's important to um, point out that there you could be punished um, either as a felony or a misdemeanor. That's known as a wobbler. It's a wobbler crime in California. Vandalism under Penal Code 594. If it is less than $400, you would be punished um, by a conviction of a misdemeanor and up to one year in county jail with up to a thousand dollars in fines. If it's a felony, if it's uh, if the damage cost is more than four hundred dollars, you would be potentially uh, punished by a jail sentence between one year and all the way up to three years, and up to ten thousand uh, dollars in in, uh, in uh, penalties. Of course, uh, if you cause more than ten thousand uh, dollars in damages you are also entitled to, uh, rather, you're also required to pay that as a form of restitution to the property owner whom suffered the damages as a result of uh, vandalism. Now, it's important to remember, someone acts maliciously when he or she intentionally does a wrongful act or when he or she unlawfully intends to annoy or injure someone else. Uh, and as for graffiti, the code here defines it as um, inscription. Material may include unauthorized inscription, words, figures, marks, or design that is written, marked, scratched, drawn, or painted on real or personal property. So um, that's pretty much what the district attorney's office would have to prove in order to, to find someone guilty. Um, oftentimes there are cameras uh, that are able to catch folks in the act of vandalism. Or, and or witnesses and or police officers uh, that are able to catch somebody say in the act either with their uh, body worn camera um, or uh, by simply observing the conduct occurring before their eyes. So uh, that's pretty much it and that's um, what the district attorney's office would have to prove to get somebody um, to uh, either plea uh, or be convicted of vandalism. And uh, if you or someone else have been um, accused of the conduct, I would encourage you to reach out to your attorney if you're not able to hire an attorney. Uh, of course, the public defender is available to represent folks for free if they're not able to afford a private counsel. If you like this video, uh, please make sure you subscribe. Um, of course, like, comment, and share. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, if you have any specific questions, send me a DM. I try to answer all my DMs within a reasonable time frame. And as always, 
thank you for uh, spending a few minutes with me. God bless. And uh, please, uh, if you are participating in a protest, make sure it's peaceful protest so we can get the uh, desired results out of this, um, all this hard work rather. Um, and uh, we shouldn't let few bad apples affect the uh, hard work of thousands of protesters that are marching the streets every day for a noble cause. Thank you very much and have a good evening. Being the only person that's advocating in the courtroom on behalf of the accused is a humbling feeling for me. I believe in the tenets of the Constitution, which is innocent until proven guilty, and that carries from day one until the trial date.